My wife rented a snoo at 3 a.m. one morning out of desperation. Our daughter was not sleeping in her bassinet for th more than 30 minutes at night. This led to her needing to be held or sleep in bed with us, which is dangerous and exhausting. Here I am unpacking and assembling the snoo. It isn't that difficult to set up and operate. First, I assembled the power supply by plugging in the cord to the transformer. After unpacking everything, you turn the snoo upside down and insert the legs. They're color coded so you cannot mix them up. They click into place and you simply tighten the thumb screws. Next, you plug the power cord into the snoo center and route it through the cord holder in the bottom to whichever leg you want to attach the power cord to. Then attach the flexible cord holder to that leg and insert the cord into this cord holder. Next, set the snoo right side up and plug in the power cord. The button on the front will flash when it starts up. Once the button stops flashing, the snoo is ready to use. You will want to save the packaging so you can send back or store the snoo. Next, you'll need to set up the snoo app and register your snoo. There's a barcode on the bottom of the snoo. While setting up your snoo, the app will have you scan this barcode to link your snoo to your app. It takes a few minutes to set up, but the app is easy to use and walks you through all of the steps. Once the app is set up, you'll be able to operate the snoo with your phone or with the button on the front of the snoo. There are four levels of the snoo's operation. Each one gets progressively more aggressive with the rocking and performs a different white noise to comfort your infant. You can move this level up with the button or up and down with the app. These levels also change dynamically based on your infant's crying and movement. You can change the sensitivity and other settings of the snoo on the app. In order to use the snoo for the first time, you must remove the swaddle and any packaging from the hooks. You then open the swaddle and place your infant inside. There are straps inside to swaddle your infant's arms in place with Velcro. Once you have these straps secure, you zip up the swaddle, making sure to tuck the zipper in. The last step is to hook the swaddle anchor points onto the hooks on each side of the snoo. The snoo will not operate without these straps in place. At this point, you can press the button on the front of the snoo or use the app to start the snoo. The settings you have set in the app will dictate what happens once the button is pressed. To go up a level, simply press the button again.
you have rented the SNU, you will need to send it back once you're done using it. To pack up the SNU, you reverse the process. Unplug the SNU and turn it over. You remove the power supply from the cord holders and unplug it from the SNU. Then loosen the thumb screws holding the legs on. Once they are loose enough, you can remove the legs by squeezing the clips and pulling straight out. Next, insert the SNU back in the large plastic bag and place the cardboard strap around it. Insert the SNU in the cardboard structure and place the oval tray onto the SNU. Wrap the power supply and pack it in the power supply box. There's a place in the tray for this box. There's another tray for the legs. Place them in alternating the sides so they all stack neatly. At this point you place the top of the cardboard structure on and slide the whole assembly into the shipping box. Everything should be packed up now. Check to make sure what needs to be sent back in the instructions. At the time we rented the SNU, they did not need the SNU mattress or swaddles back. Once everything is packed up, you have to tape the box closed and tape the handle down and affix the shipping label that they will provide. Next, get it to the shipper. They will stop billing you once they receive it back in good condition. We weren't sure if the SNU would work, but thought it was worth a try. The SNU is expensive. It retails for $1,295. They do have an option to rent one for $118 per month, plus a $49.50 reconditioning fee. It really is only needed for infants up to six months. So it will cost you around $758 for six months. It only saves you money to buy it if you're planning to have at least two infants in it. The shipping is free each way. We found it took about three days for our daughter to get used to the SNU. She was still fitful until the fourth night, though it seemed to get progressively better. At this point, the SNU worked really well. She was six weeks old when we started using it. Every infant is different and your results may vary, but for our daughter, it kept her asleep all night unless she was sick. Once she was around six months, it stopped working as well. She was due to start sleeping in her crib then anyway. You will have to rent the SNU for at least two months. If your infant has not gotten used to it by this period, you can send it back. One issue we found was that it was often difficult to transfer our infant into the SNU when she had been rocked to sleep. You have to place her into the SNU and attach both anchors before turning it on. She would often wake up during this process and the SNU wouldn't always put her to sleep after setting her down. It did an excellent job of putting her back to sleep once she'd been sleeping in it for a while. Keeping her asleep and putting her back to sleep once she stirred is where the SNU shined. The SNU app also tracked her sleep, which made figuring out when she needed naps during the day much easier. Once she got used to the SNU, we found that she was sleeping nine or 10 hours a night, only waking up for feedings. Even renting the SNU is expensive, but being able to sleep at night made it totally worth it in our opinion. They are not paying us to say that. We paid to rent the SNU just like everyone else. Overall, I would recommend the SNU if you can swing it. It makes the first six months of parenting a lot easier and leads to a lot more sleep for everyone involved.